Okay, in this video, we're going to explore Android's next big thing, and that's Android Ice Cream Sandwich, which is the next iteration of the Android OS, and the Google Nexus Prime phone, which is going to be the new tip of the spear, the new reference product, the new flagship device for Android. You're going to get vanilla Android on it, no skins, straight up stock Android Ice Cream Sandwich on it. Now, a lot of people have been asking me lately what phone they should buy. And to be honest, I think right now is one of the worst times to buy a cell phone. If you can, wait another month or two or three and get one of the new high-end phones coming out. Now, if you're a WebOS user, you've got the HP Pre 3 coming out within the next couple of months. If you're a Windows Phone user, you have Windows Phone Mango coming out right around the corner. If you're an iOS user, the iPhone 5 is coming out in about two months. But if you're an Android user, you've got Ice Cream Sandwich, Android Ice Cream Sandwich, and the Nexus Prime on the horizon. So if you can wait, I would do that. Now, supposedly, Ice Cream Sandwich will be launching within the next couple of months, and it's going to be launching on several different carriers, on several different handsets. Now, according to BGR.com, which is the Boy Genius Report, which is the website that first broke this story, Android Ice Cream Sandwich is going to appear on several flagship devices on all major carriers in the United States. Now, these flagship phones will be, according to the Boy Genius Report, from different manufacturers, from Motorola, from HTC, from LG, and Samsung. Now, supposedly, the first device to come out with Android Ice Cream Sandwich is the Nexus Prime phone. Now, the Nexus Prime, this picture right here is not actually of the Nexus Prime. This is a Nexus S phone here. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see it on my 27-inch screen here. The actual screen here is painted over, and also the Android buttons on the bottom has been painted over. But this picture is just for the story, just so that they could give you a visual representation of what the Nexus Prime is going to be. And of course, the Nexus Prime is going to be made by Samsung, as was the Nexus S. So that's why they use the picture here. Now, I personally owned the Nexus One from day one when it launched. I did not buy a Nexus S phone because I didn't think it was that much of a jump from what was available at that time. Plus, I knew dual-core phones were right around the corner. So I never owned a Nexus S. But my next phone, my personal phone, is going to be the Nexus Prime because this phone is supposedly going to be a monster. Now let's just run down some of the specs on the device here. This device is supposedly going to have a 720p resolution Super AMOLED HD display. Now currently no cell phone offers true HD display, especially not of a 720p resolution. Now to put that into perspective for you, you have television sets that are 720p and generally your smaller television sets are 720p, so pretty much anything below 32 inches, 36 inches is generally a 720p resolution. So you're going to have a phone in the palm of your hand that has the same resolution as a 32 inch television set. That's something that's going to be a sight to behold. The pixel density on that is going to be amazing and you're going to get amazing images on it. And if you know anything about Samsung, they do make great displays. So this should be no different. Now, as I said, the Nexus Prime is supposedly going to be manufactured by Samsung. And there's differing reports. Some reports say that it's going to have a Texas Instruments OMAP 4460 as its processor. Other reports, such as the report from CNET.com, say the processor might be Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon processor. Regardless of what processor it's going to run on, the device is going to run at 1.2 gigahertz or 1.5 gigahertz in speed. So you're going to have a dual core processor running at 1.2 or 1.5 gigahertz. So this is going to be the most powerful phone on the market when it launches. Now the rear facing camera is reportedly a 5 megapixel camera and the front facing camera is a 1 megapixel camera. Now it's also rumored that this device will be a 4G LTE device. 
And right now, speculation is that the device is going to launch on AT&T. However, the strategy for ice cream sandwich handsets is that there's going to be a Halo device, meaning a hero device, a tip of the spear device, if you will, on every carrier in the United States. So you're going to have one on Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. It's unclear at this point if the Nexus Prime is going to be on all four carriers, or if there's going to be an Android ice cream sandwich phone on every carrier made by different manufacturers. The Nexus Prime reportedly will have one gigabyte of RAM, which is good to hear, and the screen size is going to be quite large. According to AndroidAuthority.com, the Nexus Prime is going to have a 4.65 inch screen on it. Currently, my Motorola Atrix phone has a 4 inch screen on it. Now, normally I don't like larger screen devices. I think 4 inches is the sweet spot. But in order to get ice cream sandwich on day one and get this phone, the Nexus Prime, which sounds unbelievable, I'll bite the bullet and get a larger handset here. Now, going back here to the original Boy Genius report, it says that this device, the Nexus Prime, is not going to have any physical buttons on it. Now, I assume it's going to have a power button, obviously, and maybe a volume rocker, but it's not going to have your typical four Android buttons at the bottom of the screen. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a good thing because manufacturers change the order at will. So the device is no longer going to have the four Android buttons on the bottom. It's going to be more like a honeycomb tablet where the buttons are software based. Ice Cream Sandwich is supposedly going to be a meld, a union between Honeycomb Android, which is Android 3.0, and Android Gingerbread, which is Android 2.3. So it's going to merge the two operating systems into one, and supposedly you're going to have one operating system for both tablets and cell phones. So what's this going to look like? Well, over here on redmondpie.com, they have an interesting mock-up actually on an Atrix phone here, of what it could look like. And honestly, I like the way this looks. It looks a lot like Honeycomb, but in a phone form factor. Up here you have your Google search with your voice search, you have your apps up here, you have your back button, your home button, your menu button, and your area where you're going to have your notifications. I think this would work perfectly for a phone, but this is just a mock-up that somebody came up with. This is not what it's going to look like. Now recently, there have been some leaks as to what Ice Cream Sandwich will actually look like. Now over here on Roots Wiki, RootsWiki.com, they have some leaked pictures of what is supposedly Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Now if you have a honeycomb device, this picture on the left hand side should look somewhat familiar to you. If you long press on the home screen, or you press the plus button in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll get something that looks like this. It includes your apps and your widgets all in one menu here. So that menu is now unified supposedly on Ice Cream Sandwich and this is what it's going to look like. Now take note that you'll notice there are actual physical buttons down here on the bottom of the phone here, but that's because this supposedly Ice Cream Sandwich is running on a Nexus S handset. And of course the Nexus S handset still has the buttons down here but the Nexus Prime will not have those buttons. Now over here on the right hand side, you'll notice another picture here, and this is of the home screen. Now the two things that are noticeable that have changed here is you have an actual Google search. I don't know if you can see it too well on this video here, but if you have problems seeing this, please visit roots, R-O-O-T-Z, wiki, W-I-K-I, dot com, and they have the pictures posted there. And you can actually see up top here on this picture on the right hand side, you have a Google search and a voice search in the upper right hand corner of the screen. That's very honeycomb like and you'll have pretty much your Google search at the top of your home screen here. The other thing that's different is this dock at the bottom. Now normally the dock has three icons on the bottom of stock Android, but here you have four icons and the icon on the far right, I really don't know what that is. I don't recognize it. Obviously the one on the far left is your app drawer. Next to that is your phone contact and calling app. And then next to that is your web browser. So according to this leak, you're going to have four icons at the bottom of your ice cream sandwich phones. 
Now, another website that leaked some photos of Android Ice Cream Sandwich is AndroidPolice.com. Now, they have a couple of different screens here, one of which is the About Phone screen, and that's the picture here on the left-hand side. The only thing that I question here is where it says Android version. It actually says Ice Cream Sandwich. Normally, when you look up a phone, you're going to see an Android version, you're going to see the number version. So on my Motorola Atrix phone, I see 2.3.4 here. I don't see gingerbread. So that's somewhat of a flag that maybe these pictures are not legit, but uh, just keep that in mind. This is all the information that's out there available right now about Ice Cream Sandwich, so I'm bringing it to you as best as I can. To the right here, you see a little bit of a menu item here. You see that the device is running on T-Mobile, which is interesting. And you notice that the colors in the theme have gone from green, which is gingerbread colors, to a blue, which is more of a honeycomb color. Now, how are you going to have an operating system that runs on tablets and have that same operating system run on a phone? You have two vastly different form factors to vastly different screen sizes, basically. Well, Google obviously has a sense of humor because their solution to this is called fragments. Let me see if I can explain this to you in an abstract here. Fragments are pieces of a full app. So on a larger screen device, you're going to have all the fragments on the screen at the same time. On a smaller screen device, such as a cell phone, you're going to have one of the fragments on the screen at a time. Let me see if I can explain this to you in an abstract here. Let's just take these two pictures as an example, and let's imagine that this is an email app here. The picture on the left-hand side here is a list of all your emails. The picture on the right side of the screen here is your actual email that you're reading. So the left-hand side is a fragment and the right-hand side is a fragment. You click on an email, you get the email over here and you can read it, okay? Now on a tablet, you would see both of those things at the same time because you have enough screen real estate to do that. On a cell phone, you would just see one or the other. So on a cell phone, you would see the list and then you click on one of your emails over there and then it moves the entire screen over to the email. You would see one fragment at a time, not both at the same time. So it's good that they're merging the two operating systems. They're merging the phone operating system with the tablet operating system, and it would probably make things a lot easier for developers and a lot easier in general just to have one operating system for all Android devices. Now, for all of you Nexus S owners, don't worry because your phone will be updated to Android Ice Cream Sandwich. It's coming to the Nexus Prime first, but your phone will get the update. As for the rest of the Android handsets out there, I can't say for sure. So I hope I've given you a little bit better idea of what to expect with Android in the next couple of months. The Nexus Prime is going to be a monster phone with monster capabilities, and it's going to be running Ice Cream Sandwich, which sounds like a great step in the right direction for Android. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And that pretty much does it for this video. So I'll see you guys next time.